Hi there. My name is Aaron Lanterman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech, and I've been working on installing the tools associated with the Skywater 130 nanometer process. I've already installed Magic, XGIM, and OpenPDK on my Mac, and now I'm going to try installing NetGen. Apparently, the community uses this to compare the schematic in XGIM with your resulting layout in Magic. Brad Minch of Olin University has some nice tutorials about this on YouTube. So here's the NetGen entry on the Open Circuit Design website. Let's go to download, and we probably want to get this from the Git repository. Okay, Git clone. Here's my Git clone line. Let me go to my OCD directory for Open Circuit Design, where I've been building everything. All right, let me paste in my Git clone line. There we go. Okay, let's check out the install instructions. Looks fairly straightforward, although it says that the main prerequisite is TCLTK. Currently, this means 8.6. For OS versions with packaging systems, be sure to install the development version. Oh, I hope this isn't complicated. I'm just going to try configure, make, install, and all of that, and see if it just works. Okay, let me go into NetGen. Let's see what we have here. Let's read the README. Blah, 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 stuff, 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 stuff. Okay, let's just do it. Dot configure. Okay. Make. Oh, wait, it is not happy about something. Without TK, you can't run the enhanced version. Let's see. Try using configure options dash dash with TCL and dash dash with TK. Okay, so there is a TCL TK that's built into Mac OS. You can also install one from Homebrew, but I've installed special versions associated with a special compilation against the XQuartz library that I did for the Magic and the XKIM installs. So let's see if I can use that. All right, so let's go back into my NetGen directory. And I think I had put it in user local opt two, and I used two at the end at opt instead of opt to avoid conflicting with any homebrew installs that I might have. Oh, okay, there's a TCL TK directory in there. And there's a bunch of stuff there. All right, let's try that. So we'll now try dot configure with dash dash with I think with tcltk equal this directory. And then we'll do, oh wait, no, it's dash dash with tcl, and then I need to do a separate line that's not line, separate argument, which is dash dash with tk equal this directory. Ah, and look, it was happy with that tcltk. Let's try make. Was it happy? Let's do make install. Pseudo make install. You'd think I would remember to do that by now. All right. NetGen. Oh, X Windows started. X Quartz just booted up. Now, I haven't actually used NetGen before, so I don't know what you're supposed to do. I probably need to give it a command line argument. Oh, wait. When I tried to quit, it said that I gave it an invalid interrupt. Invalid command name, NetGen interrupt. Okay. <laughs> that was weird. Do I have a man page? No, I don't have a man page. But anyway, there is a NetGen program which probably does a bunch of stuff. So there you go. Oh, wait a minute. I just tried running NetGen a second time, and that time it brought up this who's it? All right, so we have... Load file, console, edit. We can interpret things, I guess. Preferences, history, help, help. Oh, saying a bunch of stuff. Anyway, we'll call that close enough for now. 